Hey guys and welcome to the tech side. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get the iOS 11 public beta completely free. Um, this means that Apple wants everybody to get the public beta to test the iOS 11 firmware before. It doesn't require a developer account, doesn't require a paid account, it's completely free just as Apple intended it to be. First of all, we're going to want to open Safari. That's the only web browser that will work with this because we have to install a profile. So if you open up Safari, you're going to want to go to apple.com. And then you're going to want to go to the apple.com site and just put beta. Whoops, mess it up. Beta.apple.com and let that load. Okay. Now you're going to want to show sign up if you haven't signed up for a beta software before. So I'm going to press sign up. Now we're just going to put in our Apple ID and password. I'm going to take my iPad off real quick here because it has my personal information. If you get this pop-up, that means you have to go onto another iDevice that you have or another Apple device and put the verification code into your iPad, iPhone, or iPod that you're trying to update to iOS 11 beta. This is just for security reasons and you can always turn this off in settings if you don't like it on. Alright, now after you sign into your Apple ID, just continue with this agreement and then scroll down to iOS 11. Here you're going to get some tips on backing up your device, which also is always a great idea before updating to iOS 11, because you may lose your stuff in the process. It's very unlikely, but you may. So just be safe, and I would do it if I were you. So anyways, now we're going to press Enroll Your iOS Device. This is going to take us to a page which is going to tell us that we should back up again. But here's the most important part. You have to download the profile. So press this blue button and it's going to take you to your settings page. Here you're going to press install and then put in your four digit password. That's the password you use to unlock your device. Press install and install profile. Then it's going to prompt you to restart your iPhone or iPad or iPod. You're just going to press restart and then wait for that to finish restarting. Alright, so after that's finally done updating, we're going to press home to unlock and we're going to have to go through some steps. So let me put my password again. And here we go, update completed. Just press continue. And then it's going to ask you to put in your Apple ID password. You can either enter this or skip. I'm going to enter that real quick. Alright, now that we type in our Apple ID password, it's going to update our iCloud settings. Alright, now it's going to ask us for our location services. I'm going to enable them. You can decide for yourself what you want to do about that. Continue. Continue. And there we go. We now have iOS 11 on our iOS device. It was that simple, guys. There was nothing complicated about that. It took literally like two minutes to put in all the information. The longest thing that took was just downloading the software and letting the device do its own thing. So it's that simple guys. Thank you for watching. I hope that helped you out. Um, please tell me if you guys like iOS 11 or not. I really like it. Um, I'm debating whether to do this on my main phone or not. Um, this is my iPad so it's got a little bit more features on iOS 11 so that's why I was more eager to update on my iPad than my phone. But definitely let me know, guys, if you like iOS 11 beta down below. And tell me, do you think I should update my phone or not? Or do you think I should keep it on iOS 10 until a little bit later um, when some more stable betas come out? Anyways, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you later.